we have a box. Let's see what's inside. Our good friend Gordon Smooter sent us this nice package. Ooh, look at that box. What's in the box? <laughs> Sorry. And to prove that it came from the Puppet Forge, whoa, there's his name right there. I took his address off so I wouldn't give away any of his personal information, but I do know his social security number is 794. Let's cut this baby open. All right, let's see if I can do this. Ah, ow, my finger! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, it's ketchup. This is a weird box, though, so... I'm gonna have to make a few more slices. All right, let's see what's inside. This is an awkward... Oh! Watcha! It's a cat puppet! All right, I'm gonna get out of the box. Okay, I took him out of the box, and I also found these. All right, let's take a look at the letter here. Ah, oh, dear John, you handsome devil. <laughs> I didn't write that part in. Welcome to the exclusive Puppet Forge Surprise Puppet Club. We hope you enjoy this puppet in the traditional fashion, you know, weirdly and with much vulgarity. Also included, a pair of groovy puppet eye pins to wear about the city as you jauntily bandy about. That must be these. Ooh. Hi, Pins. As always, thank you for your support of the Puppet Forge and our continued mission to bring a puppety entertainment to all ages, but mostly grown-ups. Gordon Smooter. Oh, oh yeah. I think that looks normal. All right, let's take a closer look at the exterior of this puppet. All right, let's start with the face. We have these nice big black button eyes, this cute pink nose, and this white, almost like a cream colored scruffy muzzle, which I think is my favorite feature of this puppet right off the bat. If we go inside the mouth, you have this nice red felt and this light pink tongue, which is another piece of felt glued in and nicely detailed. And then we have these really cool teeth that are in here as well. It's, it's a feature that Gordon does with his puppets that I really enjoy. They're nice and solid, and I think it really sets his designs apart from other builders. There is a light gray fur, and then across the top and going down the back and down his arms is this light gray and dark gray, almost like tiger striped fur. He's got those black ears with this dirty blush inside which are, they kind of pop in and out, which is kind of fun. So there's the face. Continuing with the body, you'll find a white plush fur material right underneath where the neck starts. And it goes into that same cream matte colored fur that you found around the muzzle on the face. And the body is covered in that gray and black striped tiger material. The inside of the arms is the same light gray you find on the face. And then on the inside, there's this really cool felt paw print. And this is another detail that Gordon does with his puppets that I really enjoy, is the little detail work he puts in the hands. Because the hands are seen a lot when you're performing. And when you add these little tiny details, it really makes them pop and also sets his work apart from other builders that I've worked with. And then from the wrist, you'll find these built-in arm rods. This is a flat, black, bendable wire. You can bend these so you can get specific hand positions if you need to do certain gestures or maybe make it hold on to something. You can bend the wires and then bend them back really easily. And those end in a black round dowel. Okay, now let's try them on. So I'm just gonna put my hand inside of the puppet. As I'm reaching in, uh, there is a speed bump inside what that means is there's a small piece of material that you put your fingers over as you're putting your hand into the mouth position and it actually helps form a, a grip a little bit easier on the inside of the mouth. And uh, there's also, oh, there's a brain in here. I'm gonna see if I can pull it out. Out of context, that probably sounded pretty morbid. This here is the brain and it's just a padded cushion that goes inside the head of the puppet because sometimes these things can be kind of hollow on the inside. Ooh, sorry, buddy. 
and this cushion helps fill it out so that your hand isn't floating around inside of the puppet. It almost acts as a hug for your hand to help it get a better grip. All right, now that his brain is back inside, my hand is now comfortably seated inside of this cat's head. That's right, my hand is comfortably inside of a cat's head. The body is nice and lightweight. I also like the length of these arm rods. Traditionally, you want them somewhere between 12 and 18 inches, depending on the performer or the project or the builder. And these are a nice length where you know you can do some big gestures and still keep your hand out of frame. These paddle hands make it really easy to find and keep a neutral position with your puppet. This is a really well-built puppet. I love the work that Gordon does over at the Puppet Forge. I love all the detail that he puts into his puppets that really set them apart from other builders. I like the way that he finds a color palette and incorporates the colors into the puppet with different textures and patterns. And that is something that will really set him apart from the other builders that you will find. If you're interested in getting a puppet from the Puppet Forge, check out what they have for sale currently in their Etsy store, or reach out to Gordon directly through thepuppetforge.com and talk to him if you have a custom puppet that you want built, and I'm sure he will gladly help you out with that. If you wanna see his puppets in action on a regular basis, I have been doing a lot of TikTok videos. If you look up at tipsy.ru on TikTok, you will find some of those videos on there. I post on a daily basis, and I can't wait to add this guy to the group. All right. Hey Butch, what do you think of your new friend? Oh yeah, they're friends. <laughs>